Hi guys, and welcome back to Fiona X. So, it's been a while since I've done a video of any sorts, um, pretty much a full year, and I'm going to try again. Um, I just got really busy, my life got pretty complicated with some sicknesses and stuff, and I'm going to start up again. Um, this video is just going to be a how, how I groom my horse, so some people do it differently and that's totally okay if you do. Um, this is Buckus. He was actually, I bought him this year and he's looking a lot better than he used to be. He's still a little thin along here, but that's going to be one of the last things that gets weighed on and he's gaining muscle and he's actually doing really good. Um, so let's get on with it. The first thing I usually do is I pick out its hoof because it's always good to check and make sure that their hoof is safe and um, not long or cracked or anything. And then also I live in Wisconsin. And in Wisconsin, when it's really cold and snowing, which it always is, until like April, um, horses have a habit of getting like snowballs packed in their hooves, and then they have a lot of trouble walking, and it's just like, you know, not good for them, so they get, we gotta work that out. And I use the magic brush from Tough One. Um, they, the Tough One calls it a genie brush. I love this thing. It does a really nice job. And I just groom, get all the hard spots out. Um, he has a blanket on, so he's not too dirty. Just like dry skin, which is itchy, so you want to try and get as much of that off as possible. And always check and make sure that their legs are clean, especially if you're putting boots on the jump or something. Um, always be safe and aware of what he, I always am careful about what's going around in his world. Um, he has a nice fear of tractors. So, he uh, flips out if they come by. So I always have to be careful, make sure it's not a tractor by so that he's safe. And I do this to both sides, so I'm going to do the other side quick. Alright, so I finished doing that. Um, I just do it really good. If there's like ever a really, really like gross part on him, like he lays down in poop, I always curry it. This is what my curry looks like. Because the magic brush does a good job, but it doesn't do a great job with that kind of mess. And then I go on to a flick brush. It's pretty stiff. Um... And I just flick all the gross hair off and stuff. Make sure that his feet are clear. So, I did get a helmet camera. I got one off of, I got one for Christmas. I got a cam box one. And I actually really like it. The video cat quality isn't perfect, but it's exactly what I'm looking for for cross country and stuff. So I'm going to start putting in ride videos. And we'll go from, i got to do the other side. And then I will do my next step. Alright, so the, the other side is done. 
Um, if this were a show day, I would do a body brush, but I don't want the natural oils gone on his skin. Um, however, I do always do his mane, just to make sure the blanket's not rubbing or anything. Here, back up so you're actually in the view. Thank you. So I do this view. I do his mane. And his mane is getting pretty thick again. I gotta pull it. But I uh, only do that if it if he's been worked because it's a little less the hair follicles stand in a little or are pulled in a little less. And then I always check his tail. You want to check, you want to check their tails for burrs and stuff. He does get burrs still in the winter, which I didn't know was possible. Whatever. And then, I'm going to get my body brush to show you. This is what I use for a body brush. Um, you know, as you can see, it just makes their hair really neat and shiny. That's all I'm going to do. Thank you for watching and come back again. I'm going to start posting, I wouldn't say daily, but um, as much as possible. I do, I'm do. i going to start doing more than one video a time when I come out to the barn so that I have stuff to post over the week. I'm hoping, my goal is to do three videos a week, um, but... You know, I'm not great at that. And I'm going to really try it. This is actually for an SAE. Um, and if I can get anywhere in it, then I'll keep doing it. If I just can't anymore, then I'll stop it. That's a six-month period. And I think that's going to be all. Thanks for watching. Bye.